Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about input and output in Groovy. So in Groovy we can use some statements and functions to take input from the user and we can also use some statements or functions to output the result on the console and that is what we are going to learn today and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. I will straight away go to my Eclipse and this is our Groovy project and I will do a right click on the package, go to new other and search for groovy if you have groovy class select that i am having groovy type here so i will go to next and select class here and i will say this is input output you can give it any name and say finish and here i'm just moving class i will do coding without using class so here i can say here print enter your name and i want to put this on the console so I'm using a print statement I can also use print ln here print ln will print this statement and then move the cursor to the next line but I do not want that I want to keep the cursor on the same line so I'm saying print and then to take the input from the user I will say system dot console dot read line so this is the function that takes the input from the console and I will store it into a variable called name so I am storing it into a variable called name so I will say def name equals system.console.readline and after taking the input I will print out so here I am using println and I can say hello and the name or I can also put this name inside and for that I can use a dollar symbol I can say dollar name so this will print hello and whatever is the name entered by the user if I run this I will do a right click run as groovy script and here I'm getting some exception if I see the exception it is saying cannot invoke method a read line on null object so here from Eclipse it is getting it as null so I can try it from the command line I will do a right click on my class here or my groovy script go to properties and this is the location I will go to the location where it is situated physically on my system and here I will open it into a command line so I can go to command line and then cd to this location or I can directly say cmd and hit enter here and this will open my command line on the location where my uh, this demo package where my groovy script is now if you are on Mac or Linux you can just open your terminal and cd or change directly to the location where your groovy script is and then you can say groovy and the name of the script which is input output dot groovy so here you, are say, you can see it is asking enter your name I will say Raghav and hit enter and it is saying hello Raghav so this is working fine and now if I want to take two numbers from user and do an addition and print the result I can again say print I will say enter first number and here whatever is will be the user input I will take that so I will say system dot console dot read line and here I am going to store it into a variable called num1 now here please make sure that whatever user will enter will be taken as a string now to convert that into an integer or a to a double you have to use type casting so I will cast it into an integer so I will say to integer in case you are getting some floating numbers you can also say to double here but I am just using integers for now I will say to integer and then similarly I will say print enter second number and again I am going to take the input into a variable num2 and the same thing here as well I will copy and paste it and now I will say now you can also use semicolon at the end which is optional in groovy so this will work fine without semicolons as well and then I have to print the results so I will say print ln and I will say dollar num1 so that it prints number 1 plus dollar num2 equals to and here I will do the 
addition num1 plus num2 so this should print number 1 plus number 2 equals to whatever is the result of the addition so if I run this again so here first it is asking for the name and then it is asking for number 1 I will say 10 number 2 I will say 20 and enter and you can see it is printing 10 plus 20 equals 30 so this is how you can do you can take the input and do the operations here and then this was all about input you can also learn about outputs so for output we have already seen some print statements so in output we use statements like print println and printf so these are the three statements we use to uh, output the result on the console now we have already seen print and println they are same the only difference is println will print the statement and then move the cursor to the next line and print will not move the cursor to the next line and then I can say here for example I say I take a variable my name and say this is equals to Raghav and let me also just comment the earlier part I will select everything and press ctrl and forward slash on my keyboard and it will comment out all this section and here I will say println my name is and I can say plus my name like this or I can also say dollar my name like this and if I run this I will say run as groovy script and it is printing my name is Raghav and then I can use uh, printf now in printf what I can do is I can say my name is and for string we use percent %s and then I will give the variable that will go into percent %s or the string my name and if I run this this should also output the same statement and you can see it is printing my name is Raghav and however this will not move the cursor to the next line so I can say backslash n and this will move the cursor to the next line and then I can say so in printf we use these locators so we have percent percent s for string and then we can have percent d for integers and then we can have percent I will say minus 2f for floating numbers and minus 2 it will take it up to two decimal places so I can do like this and then I will say backslash n for next line and here because we have multiple values I can take a list and I can provide all the values so for this first percent s I have to give a string I will say I will give a string and then comma and this is going to be integer so I will give some integer value here I will say 10 and then I have to give some floating value I will say uh, 20.203 and it should print only up to two decimal places because we have set 0 0.2 here so if I run this now I will say run as groovy script and you can see it is printing Raghav it is printing 10 and the decimal value up to two decimal places now if I do this I will say I will copy this and paste it again and if I say minus 10 percent minus 10 s it will do padding for this string and I can also say percent 10 s so I will show you the difference let me use this here as well so that you will see what is the difference here so here I want to use another string as well so I am here I am saying groovy and here as well I am saying groovy so you can see in the earlier statement we are not using any padding we have two strings here also we have two strings but we are using some padding if I run this and let us see the output so you can see in the first string we have done padding and it has padded 10 positions to the right and plus or positive 10 has again padded to the left so minus 10 will do to the right and plus 10 will do padding to the left so this is how you can also use padding and this is how you can use printf and if I go to Google and search for printf in Groovy I will say 
printf in Groovy and search for it and let me see some where I can find some kind of a reference for per printf if I go here and yes you can find all the reference of printf here so these are all the locators or these are all the formatters you can use with printf so you can use percent %c for characters percent %d for decimal percent %d for exponential floating integer and so on so this is how you can use it with printf I will copy this and I will also make it available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so I will also add it here and this is how you can use input and output in Groovy I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching